IS learning module is going on and uh, here we have designed the data flow task and uh, uh, we have uh, did the very basic ETL proce process. We extract the records from the source then did some uh, transformation and uh, after that loaded the data into the destination. Now we have to configure the uh, this uh, so if there is any error is coming uh, how to redirect these errors. So suppose there is the first name have some uh, uh, problems with the data. The data is um, uh, big then to the destination uh, uh, column size. So it should have to be redirected. I will use this redirect rows and then I will see what will be happened. Now I will first uh, go to the Excel sheet. I will change the data there and then we'll uh, do this uh, pro process, process here. This is our source file Excel sheet and uh, here I will change the customer name which is uh, the length is uh, in our destination is supporting only 50 characters but I have written here more than 15 characters. So it's a big name. So now there are there are 19 records in this Excel sheet. The 18s are valid according to the destination but one is has the problem this truncation problem. So what the um, uh, what we, we will do we will we have to redirect this one row to some uh, error log into some uh, over uh, some text file we will write our uh, in the same SQL server in some table we will write this uh, error that uh, record and the correct records the or records which have no problem we will uh, load these into the destination tables. So let's uh, do implement this scenario into our ETL project. This is our SOAR here. Here I implemented that the redirect row that is why this triangle is asking where to redirect. So I have to specify the uh, redirect destination. So I will use an other table in the same SQL server uh, connection where the invalid data will be saved. So I will use the destination assistant and uh, with the same SQL server connection in the same database I will create a new table in this uh, package and uh, then the any invalid data will be saved in that. So our connection is same with the trading DB and uh, I have to redirect the invalid data here. So the this data in this column if there is any problem it will be redirected to in this destination and now I have now this triangle is gone because we have redirected and I have to configure now this destination. So the destination I did not have the table I will create a new table and the new table name is OLE destination or I will use the table name errors in SSIS DTF data flow trust. so error in SSIS DTF so this is the table name I will use everything as it is and here is the mappings now the error code column and error uh, co column is new columns generated other than the this data columns and the here it will, it will store the error code and the error column. So let's see destination is configured we have to uh, give the proper names. So the valid data will save here and invalid data will be saved here. So let's check. It is showing zero errors, zero warnings. So everything is successful. Let's look there in the source we have the 19 records. One record have the problem that is moved to the invalid data. 
table and the one uh, 18 are correct is the valid according to our uh, destination so the 18 records are moved to the valid data table so now let's move to the sql server management studio and check there this is sql server management studio now let's see this is our destination where the valid data will be moved so records are there and 18 records are here the previous data i already truncated so the new data which is moved is 18 records in this table and the new table i created this one errors in ssis so let's check this table so there is one record with this big name is moved here and this last name is this one and this is the error code and this is the error column number is this one so we can find because here error description is not there what is the actual error so we cannot understand so we have to check the error number this is the error number if we will find the against this error number the description it will show that this is the truncation problem so right in this way we can control the errors coming into our uh, this uh, data flow during the etl process whatever the invalid data will be coming we can segregate it from the valid data by using the transformation